everybody, welcome back behind the bar with me this evening. Uh, I actually just got home from a fun little trip um, that uh, had me down in Georgia where I got to go to a fun little release at Creature Comforts uh, and go to the Existence release, which was a lot of fun. Got to meet some really cool people. Um, but I'd just done their Tropicalia video, so it was kind of cool to be uh, down there and get to know them. And it was cool they'd watched my video, so it was kind of a fun time. But uh, tonight, just got back, wanted to do a uh, beer review for you guys of a beer that's actually being released in Kansas City tomorrow. Um, it is Small Ball Saison from Crane Brewing Company. I reviewed a few of their beers on the channel before. This is a 5.2% dry hopped Belgian style ale, um, bottle con conditioned with Brettanomyces, a little bit, a little Brett action. Um, playing good defense and smart base running are some of the little things it takes to win a championship. Handcrafting this beer is a lot like playing small ball. Uh, the session saison is sure to make baseball season even more enjoyable. Um, and the bottle art, if you can see that, is badass. It's like a, a crane um, that looks kind of like a baseball. So <laughs> kind of cool. So I figured we'd uh, give a review of this and get it up. Um, so people that wanted to uh, check it out might give you a little idea ahead of time of... Um, what you might be looking at to go pick it up in the stores in Kansas City tomorrow. So, uh, pour this out a little aggressively there. Ooh, not the best pour on earth. Let it settle down and pour a little more, probably. Um, my crane glass was dirty, so I had to result to uh, my side project glass, wanting to keep it in Missouri. So. Um, anyways, this poured out, as a lot of Brett beers do, um, poured out just a, a lot of carbonation. Um, two to three fingers there, um, but pours out just kind of a lightly hazy, um, yellowish, amber, like straw color. Um, bright, good, good carbonation on that. I mean, some tons of bubbles coming up, almost like a champagne for sure. Um, big, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy head. Um, looks, I mean, it looks great in the glass, guys. Um, let's see what it smells like. Yeah, um, big, big Saison nose. Um, just kind of like spicy, earthy, floral, like hay, wet blanket, all those typical, you know, uh, Saison farmhouse notes. Um, but then you get a little bit of that funk from that Brett and that Britannomyces. Definitely there as well. That just kind of nice, as I said already, kind of that wet blanket, horse blanket, just like wet hay, barn kind of smell just funk but big big nose on it for 5.2 percent kind of a session um ale um saison this is it's got a great big nose on it smells fantastic yeah now that the carbonation's the head's kind of died down to about a finger and a half looking fantastic in the glass guys um yeah smells incredible um before i dive into this um if you the last one i did was the Amber plus Brett Forever uh, was the last cream beer. They did actually give this to me at the same time, plus the Kumquat Vice, which I'm going to be reviewing as well. Very Should be up very soon. Um, they did give me those to review. So just want to be full disclosure up front with that. Um, but I have no problem reviewing beer. But I always tell people I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. So if, it's bad, if I think it's bad, I'm going to tell you it's bad. But um, we'll see what the nose on this is great. Let's dive in. Cheers, guys. Yeah, I dig that. Um, good sessionable, like this would be a really fantastic like canned beer for the summertime. Um, you get those really nice kind of like esters in the Saison yeast or, or from the Saison um, side of this beer. Um, you're getting uh, just kind of that floral aspect, those earthy elements. Um, it's got a little bit of tartness to it, um, just a smidge. It, it's definitely bright. Um, a part of me makes it makes me wonder if it's from the dry hopped aspect of this. I'm getting kind of some fruity notes and bitterness um, that I think is coming from the dry hop aspect of this beer. But then you, it finishes with that nice, just kind of bread funk um, that, like, I, I've said, I've already said it like four times in this video already. Just kind of that earthy, 
barnyard wet hay kind of uh, nose that you would get, just kind of the way that would taste, the the way that it smells um, is definitely there. For 5.2%, um, right? Yeah, 5.2. For 5.2%, this is actually very flavorful. Um, this was bottled three, four of 16. Um, it, it's very flavorful. It's very forward. It definitely has it. It doesn't taste thin in any way. The carbonation on this beer is fantastic. It poured out slightly aggressive um, with the carbonation coming up, but actually of all the cream beers that I've had, this is my favorite from a carbonation standpoint. It's very effervescent as it goes over your tongue. They got that one dialed in for sure, and I'm sure the Brett helped out quite a bit as well. Yeah, just that nice... Um, to compare this to a beer that they have that I've reviewed, um, and this is just my personal opinion, they have just their regular Saison, um, which is a good beer. It's, it's real good. I think I gave it like a low A um, when I reviewed it. I actually enjoy this quite a bit more. This is this is a better beer for me. At 5.2%, I can drink the 750 and not just get hammered hammered. I mean, I'd be feeling really good, but I like that it's a little lower ABV. Um, I like the, the mouthfeel on it. It's fantastic. The Brett aspects of this beer, if you like Brett, you're really going to enjoy this. Um, the, the dry hop on this is definitely adding a nice element to this beer. I really enjoy it. Yeah, there's really nothing to dislike here. Um, great funk, great everything. Um, for small town, like this being a baseball, Kansas City World Champions kind of beer um, themed, this will be fantastic to be able to get like at Kauffman Stadium, which I know has been talked about. And I don't know if it'll actually happen, but um, it. I mean, this is a great like sit and watch a baseball game beer. I mean, this is a great summertime beer. This is you know a lawnmower beer, golf beer, um, fishing beer, whatever you're into. This is definitely a beer for that. Um, it's it's great. Crane's really just, you know, every every beer that they're doing, they just keep getting, there's just elements that, that I'm enjoying um, that they're adding to them. Like this one, Carbonation, has been something that I've said with their beers that um, they're, you know, don't always have the best Carbonation, but this one's definitely dialed in and fantastic. I, I like what it's adding to the beer, um, and I like all the funky aspects of this. This is, I mean, look at that in the glass. It looks beautiful. So, um, yeah, I've been rambling long enough, guys. As far as a grade on this, I'm probably going to go... It's kind of a tough one. Uh, I'm going to go, I mean, solid A. I mean, I'd probably go 94 on this beer. Solid A. I mean, it, it's got great elements. I mean, if you like if you like Saisons, if you like beers with Brett, I mean, this has everything in spades, and it's got a nice little, like, like almost like fruity, like fruity hop, dry, bitter finish. Um, that's really, really good and really refreshing. Um, so yeah, let's stick with it right there, guys. Let's go 94 out of 100. Um, Crane Brewing Company, Raytown, Missouri, drops in Kansas City tomorrow. At the time of recording, this is Monday the 23rd, I think it says, 23rd, 24th, something like that. Um, so this drops um, tomorrow, I think, in the Kansas City market. It's been available, I think, at the brewery as well. Um, it's it's great. Pick up a bottle, guys. If you like those styles of beers and you look for something, I mean, it's one of the best ones made in Kansas City, so I'd go for it for sure. Um, 94, I mean, even sitting and drinking, I'm thinking maybe even a 95 on this. So definitely a solid, solid beer. Well done, the folk at Crane Brewing Company. Um, we'll leave it there, guys. So thanks for coming behind the bar with me. Um, thanks for the likes, subscribes, comments. Till next time. Cheers.